Okay, that's good. So you're gonna you're gonna go at it again? That's good to hear. How's the music volume? Mic check. Is the music too loud? Um, what's your uh, approach as far as your tactic uh, for the administrative procedure? Like, what um what angle or approach are you? Are you? Yeah, I'll turn it down some. I've noticed if I blare it really loud out here, it's uh not so loud on the mic, but I'll turn it down some. What's up, Metatron? You and King, how y'all doing? What's up, Friday? Anyway, I'm glad you're um you're still uh you know going at it with the uh, administrative procedure uh, to get basically settlement and closure on the account. Or you know, like I said, you could you could also just kind of sign and uh, set it off as the authorized representative, um, giving them authority to cash out on the bonds because that's what they need is oh metatron is sob yeah man you know sob you be you be changing your name daily weekly you're like a chameleon buddy it's hard to hard to catch up i was like who's metatron you're uh you're my you're my only moderator right now i think i think veronica might come on um yeah you transform like it sounds like a transformer name. I don't. I don't know if that. I know Megatron is one. Whoa! Thanks for the gift. Much appreciated, my brother. Peace in the Middle East. Uh, all right. So King, you said you're doing a rogatory to the judge, explaining what I'm doing. So a letter, a letter's rogatory is typically a decree from a higher court, um, and that's why the typical private administrative procedure it includes a three-part process to allow in accordance with the Administrative Procedure Act and it also has a declaratory judgment. So when you're doing a letters rogatory you want to have a, a judgment from a higher court and that is uh, what you're creating basically. Uh, Metatron equals Kether, Kether on the Tree of Life. Okay. I started listening to some of it. I, you know, I like I like what they're talking about with the tree and the how it grows and the beginning and it's like an endless loop and stuff like that. And what's really interesting about trees and you know in the Bible there are different words for people. Like there's so many different words. There's you know they call us uh, waters is lost people. Trees are mighty people that can you know produce fruit or not. Um, cedars or different types of trees uh, you know they call there's goats there's uh, lambs there's lions you know there's so many different words for people and uh, it's all as, as far as the spiritual interpretation like I said there's a natural a spiritual and a commercial interpretation on all different levels for all of these nouns and that's what um, was unlocked to, to me and as far as I know I don't I, I haven't heard anybody else ever teaching that or, or talking about how there is uh, three different levels to the Bible and how all of them have their own unique perspective from the natural, spiritual, and commercial avenues. And what I'm actually learning is if you look at the trust triangle behind me, there's a uh, nature, spirit, and commerce. There's a positive, a negative, and a neutral. And commerce is actually neutral, and you, you know, depending on what you do with it, is how it resonates, positive or negative. The natural would be perceived as negative. The equity and spirit would be perceived as positive, and uh, commerce would be neutral. And taking the neutral position is very important. Which which way you go with that? Um, basically, it's like a gateway, like a. Uh, like where you resonate so all of your energy your thoughts your patterns your actions and all that depending on which direction you go with commerce so commerce is a very very important key in understanding how it's neutral even though we can't do anything without it commerce can't do uh, anything without us so and it depends on what you do with your commerce it d determines everything like that's that's how it all works that's how the trust triangle is set up all right so king he said, at this point, I'm putting it out, uh, all out there to him. He's 
locked me up three times already. Yeah, that sucks, man. It sucks. Uh, it, it's so hard. It takes a lot of training to embody the sovereignty and understand how everything is established and what the judge's role is as an administrator and has no authority over you unless it is granted. Now, through your acts and actions, you can grant it very easily, and they are trained to get you under their jurisdiction. And you can uh, try to embody that no matter what the judge says is just an offer, you know, saying that he's going to put an arrest warrant out for you. You could say, I categorically reject that offer. Because you got to remember, when you take control of the court, you are the king. You make the decrees. You make the judgments. You make the decisions like it's your, it's your court. They work for you. Um, and if they and if they don't work for you, then you need to figure out how to get them in that position because you really don't want to be on you know the opposing side of the fence, being a debtor, being a belligerent, being uh, under their jurisdiction because you you're not you're not going to get a good remedy. And they always must provide a claim upon which relief can be granted, and that is how a lot of people can get a remedy. So. Uh, Metatron. In the Bible, the tree of life is Jesus and Satan, the tree of death. Oh, it's like a mirror. That's that's awesome. So, um, speaking in regards to the light, because if you look in the Bible, they're always calling, and it seems really confusing, because they're calling Jesus the morning star, but they're also calling Lucifer the morning star, right? And they're, calling, they're both calling them stars, and that's the spiritual sun and the natural sun. And the spiritual sun is what is perceived as positive, flawless, and perfect. And the natural sun is the one that has spots and blemishes and is for the temporary light. And it basically is the ruler of the natural realm because everybody just operates in the natural realm using the natural light and the natural eyes and not using the, the spiritual eyes. Um, that's why the three lights are so important because the moon is the actual interface, the commercial light. It is the interface between the natural sun and the spiritual sun, and that's why it disappears and goes through phases, because it's all it's neutral. It depends on what you do with your commerce, um, depending on which, which way it's leaning, positive or negative. I'm starting to get into a little bit of, of deeper stuff now. Uh, I didn't have time this week to put out another video. I wanted to. It's just been really nuts. Um, I just got finished doing a uh, filming in my office that took three hours, and I had my um, my property management software uh, company that I'm using. They really liked how I gave a review. I mean, all I did was just give a review, and they kicked me like I don't know a fifty dollar gift card to Amazon or something. And then they liked my. Um, my reviews so much they were like we want to come film you and I was like uh, okay and they they said they'd give me $250 Amazon gift card for two and a half hours of you know freaking filming and I'm like that's a hundred dollars an hour you know why not screw it uh, I was like TikTok has prepared me to get in front of the camera and start talking so I'm I'm good for it and uh, it went it went really well um, uh, we had kind of some scripts and I kind of felt like paparazzi because these this guy was following me all over the office, filming me and uh, taking pictures in all kinds of different ways and stuff. It was uh, it was interesting, but just some something, something that happened today. But that's it's like on and on and on with stuff that's just been happening. And I wanted to release the eighth. I think I want to do the eighth day uh, video next, and then I'll get into the the body being the temple and uh, how Solomon created the first one and all that. So that'll be that'll be a fun video, although. It's not going to reach anybody because nobody cares about spirit. And then what I've started noticing on TikTok recently is if if you're going to promote some false fear-mongering type of topic, they're going to promote the dog mess out of it. Like that October 4th freaking FEMA or whatever emergency, the e EBS broadcasting. I saw so many people posting about how the wavelengths are going to scramble our brains. It's going to cause people to turn into zombies. It's going to cause all the graphene oxide to interlock in our bodies with microwaves. And, and these videos are getting millions and millions of views. And so it's almost like if you put out false fear-mongering information, 
TikTok is going to promote the dog mess out of it. Or if you are some smoking hot chick that can make it clap upside down, TikTok's going to promote the dog mess out of it. But if you try to help people or you try to enlighten them or you try to teach them how they can better their life through you know their mind, consciousness, and body and vibes and all that, like I'm doing with the spiritual stuff, psh, yeah, they'll let you know uh, uh, 800 people see it, and then that's it. Um, anyway, let's get on some of these questions. Uh, verses, yep. So it's it's like a mirror up, uh, you know, positive and negative, as far as that goes. Metatron, the left path, middle path, and right path, yep. And then, but they all inter- intertwine and then and then kind of go through each other too in, in opposite directions. It's it's all interconnected, intertwined, and um, once you start getting your basic foundations, it's real easy to build upon it and grow from it. Uh, one Metatron, one should obtain non-duality, but be able to go into both realms. Yes, and in my dang, is it like my second or third foundation video? I talk about having one foot on the land, one foot on the water, and your head in the air. And that is basically what the corporation soul is with you as the sovereign entity running it is you basically have one foot on the land in common law, one foot in the water in international commercial law, and your head in equity. And it's basically like the trifecta that that uh, all that intertwines everything. Whoa, that's an interesting gift, man. A boiling cauldron. Thank you for the for the boiling cauldron, my man. Much appreciated. Um, all right, so. Uh, but yes, you know, understanding how they all are intertwined and we're all in the middle and within and without and embodying it, man, that is the way to go. I love it. So, uh, uh, Metatron, citizen equals avatar. Yeah, it's just, it's just a tool. It's like a persona, a a person. It is something on a stage. It is a mask. It is a, a, a filter that you can use just to do business with. It's a tool. But again, uh, whatever you register to the state they control you know so if you're going to register a citizen of the state they control it if you're going to register a trust of the state they control it now that's where the corporation soul is so unique because it is by statute recognized that it is not a creature of the state it is recognized that a sovereign created it and that is why it is the only entity that I know of that can publicly do business and hold like Federal Reserve notes without giving up jurisdiction because it has one foot on the land, one foot in the water, and it's in equity. Um, the state recognizes that a sovereign created the corporation's soul, and it's not under their jurisdiction, but you have to register it not to give up jurisdiction, but to give a basically a governmental head person of contact for engaging in treaties and if there's any issues with the corporation soul so um let's get back on some questions here uh clone is it correct to say to the judge when they ask you if you understand your rights saying no yeah so um if they ask you a question you ask a question back to them you say what rights would be granted to a sovereign who who controls all you know you could say something like that um uh, th- that is somewhat of a legalese that's like one of the four legalese terms that they try to trick people with is understand as one person is one um but but understand means stand under do you stand under your rights um you typically like i said you don't want to make a statement statements are made from belligerents now i am not saying do not ever make a statement in court once you take control of the court and basically the king, or sorry, the, the judge acknowledges that you are the sovereign in control, you can make statements at that point. You can tell your servant what to do and not have to ask questions. There is a time when you can make statements and you're not a belligerent in combat because you have been proven through the gatekeeper uh, that you are embodying what it means to be sovereign. So, um, DWG on Earth, my man, what's up? How you doing? Uh, clone, state and national. Yeah, so a state national is just a, a trust. It's a corporation that you can use, um, and it and it can be the trustee of another trust. Um, it could it could in theory be the trustee of the U.S. citizen. You know, you you could do it that way. But I I would you know depending on what you're trying to do, I would not try to commingle state national and um, anything that a U.S. citizen is involved in engaging because a U.S. citizen is an enemy. It's classified as an enemy from the state since 1933. 
And so when you're using that, you, you got to understand that's why all the licensing was issued. That's why uh, all the titles were taken away from the U.S. citizen and all that stuff. So, all right. Um, uh, DWG on Earth, shadow banned like crazy. Uh, you were? Did you did you do some stuff? I actually got I actually Jehovah, what's up, buddy? I see you popping up with all these gifts, man. I um I actually got my last live cut because I was talking about uh, how to uh, show proof you are a state national, and then I appealed it, and but but they cut my live. And what's cool is I'm I'm recording this. Um, I'm recording this live separately from outside of TikTok. So even if they cut my live, I can continue. And that's what happened last time is it cut the live immediately right near the end. Everything went black, but I, I still could finish filming and stating, finishing up like what I was saying. And then I wrapped up the live and then I had to appeal it. And then they granted my appeal. So I ended up, uh, usually when they, uh, this is the first time I got an appeal approval granted within a week. Normally, they take so long. First, they, they, they ban you, and they tried to say that I was um, promoting stuff that's fall. I, I don't remember what it was. Um, they, they ban you, and then they say you're ba uh, banned for a week, and then when you try to appeal it, it takes so long before they get back to you that it's, it's already a week, and then you can just go back live again. But I, was, I thought it was pretty cool that I got it removed quickly but it's surprising that they they banned me uh I, i've gotten banned several times for talking about um po political stuff uh they they misunderstood me one time about a, a gay guy who was saying i was reading what he wrote and they thought i was like saying hate speech but i wasn't and then uh just last week for talking about how you can prove through paperwork to be a national and i thought that was you know whatever TikTok's on some funny stuff uh, alternative health love your work brother thank you much appreciate i love this is for y'all i'm here for y'all this is all for you like i am flowing my energy and knowledge and thoughts and processes for free to help edify y'all which is helping edify me because we're all in this together so uh, jesse cummings how are you going to dodge the tactics filter going forward what's oh TikTok filter is what okay um I'm not worried about it because the way I come from in my peace and embodying love is all law and understanding, I can make a commercial video and it could see anywhere from 20 to 200 to 500,000 people. I make a spiritual video and it's going to see six, 700 people. It's going to, it's going to reach who it's supposed to. And, and that is how I have always embodied the spiritual aspects of my walk is the creators are... Uh, basically divinely um, involved in a lot of things and that's it's it, it gets kind of weird when you, you're dealing with prophets thanks for the rose rev teaches uh, much appreciated um, totally lost my my train of thought but uh, anyway so let's go back to the citizens uh, Metatron the citizen owns and can control the principal account uh, the citizen, which you're talking about the private asset side of the account, the citizen has access to it if it goes through a very lengthy process. Hey, look who's on live. What's going on? How you doing? Thanks, for, thanks Joe, again for the, for the gifts and joining on. Uh, much appreciated. Um, let's see, Metatron, the institution is the gatekeeper. Yeah, so you got to understand that the private asset side of the U.S. citizen, which is actually a lot of people consider is, is a blessing because you can tap into it and you basically never have to work again, right? It has a right that the U.S. citizen can access because they took away all of our um, ability to pay any debts and they took away all of our abilities to be able to, to um, pay anything. So they, he who creates the issue must also provide the remedy. So um, they're providing a claim upon which relief can be granted if you know how to go through the process. It's just very, very lengthy and not easy. Uh, soldier for Yahweh, your signature creates the contract. Yes, that is what gives the authorization. And, and the same thing on your checkbook. If you look, it says you're the authorized representative. You have always been the authorized representative for the U.S. citizen. And I think that's what I was talking about earlier. You can control what you create. 
and we didn't create the U.S. citizen, but they allow us because it's theirs, right? When, when you create something, you can allow, quote unquote, you can control, quote unquote. If you're paying for something, you get to dictate. If you create, you get to control. You, you know, They create the U.S. citizen. They allow you to do a lot of things with it, a lot of cool things. But it just depends on your knowledge and understanding of how everything is worked and tied together in harmony and peace. Um, do you... Do you put your lives in YouTube, Rumble? Yes, Soldier. This live will be on YouTube. All of my TikTok lives are on YouTube. The audio of it will be on my Telegram, so you can just listen to the audio if you want, or you can watch the video on YouTube. And all of my social media is linked on my website. My website is linked on my TikTok profile page. All right. Uh, the, uh, Metatron, desire is the generator. Yes. And, you know, honestly, a lot of people are incentivized by... Uh, commerce right that's kind of what controls everything right and it's supposed to be in reverse we're supposed to control commerce that's why this triangle is flipped in and out commerce controls everybody but we're supposed to control the commerce and that's why it's that neutrality it's the neutral medium of exchange of everything no matter what you are doing you are doing commerce is your commerce positive or negative are you or is it neutral are you staying in the neutral position it, it's really depends on how you you flow with your energy uh, Metatron, Soldier for Yahweh, yes, check out the description on his space. Yes, please. Thanks, Reverend, for all the flowers. Again, uh, much appreciated. Two, two hours media. Charles, pop in and say hi. Gotta run. <laughs> all right, man. It's nice seeing you for a second. Veronica, ciao. Guess what? I can moderate you if you want to be my little moderator again. They, they allowed me to, uh, do this now. I got the update. Uh, Dang, it's saying mute. It's not allowing me. I don't see where it says. Uh, it says, oh, manage access. Um, oh no, it says you're. It says you're already a moderator. Cool. Uh, confirm. Okay. Yeah. So you're. You you maintained your moderator status, but now I think you can do stuff. I don't. I don't know. See if you can like. You can moderate. I don't know. Um, me medic. What is this? What is what? Where can I see this picture? What 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 are you talking about? Are you talking about the triangle behind me, uh, medic? Veronica, thanks for yeah. I know you post everything, and you're my pimp, and you like help. Uh, you've actually helped me out a lot with some guidance. I mean, like making my intro video and and some other things. Um, you know, it's very very much appreciated. Uh, so so medic, which uh, which picture are you talking about? I'm not 100 percent sure which where you're at. Veronica, oh, you're doing it already. That's cool. Heck yeah. So you have, um, you have your moderator status. You've been had it, but now you can actually use it again. So that's um, that's great. Uh, and then I got Sav or Metatron uh, up as a moderator now too, because I, I doubt um, I doubt the other moderators gonna be up here anytime soon. So um, I send you a link for the Telegraph Metatron. Okay, yeah. Cool. I can't pin. Oh, dang, that sucks. So what are what like what are you able to do as a moderator now? I mean, I don't, you know. But anyway, how's everybody doing? If you've got any questions? I'm here for you. It's been a crazy hectic week. I wanted to make a video, but I just uh, didn't happen this week. And I don't know if it's gonna happen next week because I am gonna be going on a crazy adventure from the 12th of October till the 24th I'm gonna be like all over the place from DC to Florida doing some doing some wild stuff so um yeah y'all link up like this that's part of why I want to you know I set up te telegram and all this stuff is I want y'all oh thanks for the gun Metatron um, I want y'all to network. I want y'all to help each other you know we're all in this together and every once in a while I will you know delete something if it's like way out of what I want promoted on my platform but other than that um uh V I have class information from other teachers on my website I 
uh, do one-on-ones, I do consultations, I answer DMs, emails, phone calls, uh, like all the time, trying to help people on any paths or any questions that they have on their walks, right? It depends on everybody, and that's part of equity, right, is talking to each person one-on-one on their own path, in their own tongue, how they can understand things. Because one person can take meat, another person needs milk, another person can't don't eat, can't handle any of it, you know? so. One-on-one is usually how I do um, teachings. And if you actually go on my profile page V, I have created playlists to help re-educate anybody who's interested to understand how everything in our world works, okay? If you start with foundation and then go into nature and then spirit and then commerce, most everybody jumps straight to commerce because that's what they care about. That's what they're bound by. That's what they worship. That's what they love is the graven images. They love the money. They love the uh, mammon. They worship mammon. And the creators say, do not worship mammon. Um, that commercial light that, that uh, can bind everybody and set you free. Like I said, it's a neutral thing, but the creator doesn't want you to worship what, um, uh, he, like the creators are above all of this stuff, you know, and don't, don't, don't worship mammon. It's a tool. Uh, you're all spirit, Veronica. That's good to know. I noticed that you, you do uh, uh, enjoy my spiritual stuff, but I, I, I've got a couple more I'm coming out with soon. I, like I said, I, I don't know if I'll be able to do it next week, but I'll try to get uh, some more videos out soon. It's just been really busy. Jehovah, thanks for all the for all the gifts, man. I love you guys. I appreciate it. All of y'all's gifts are going to be used to help enlighten more people by promoting my videos. So I actually have the ability to um, promote my videos to be able to help reach new people because TikTok ain't doing it. Well, I say that TikTok has been doing a lot better at getting out my commercial videos, but they do not want my spiritual stuff going out like at all. And like I said, I've just seemed to notice recently, like uh, TikTok just kind of, it's just kind of bland. Like I get on there and it's nothing but fear mongering. It's just promotion of false fear mongering stuff. You know, that you know they'll come. Some guy will talk about. Oh yeah, they're creating a hurricane that's coming with lasers, and you know it'll have six million views, and it'll be like, oh, you know, and it's just like it's all made up, and it's, you know, I don't know why they do that, but V, some people aren't ready for spiritual healing. No, most people don't. You know, some people don't even know about spirit at all, and that's why in my foundation videos I teach that if you don't acknowledge and understand the spiritual realm, you are basically just an animal that is asleep, bound by the natural light, and until you embody what it means to have the spiritual spark of the creators in you and uh, start to come to higher levels of consciousness, start to use your single eye of uh, unity, start to see in the spiritual light and feel the energy and vibrations and frequency, you, you, you know, you, you're staying down in a very natural negative state. And that is why I was teaching in the very beginning of this um, live about the trust triangle that each one of these has a sign to it, to a positive, negative, and neutral. And it depends on, on how you're playing the game. So Metatron, I am the Alpha and the Omega. Yes, and and in my video, it's so hard to believe because we've been taught that we're basically like worthless monkeys flying around on a space rock that accidentally happened. And so it's hard to re-educate yourself into, oh, I'm actually the ultimate sovereign. I'm a fractal of the creators. I am the one. You are the past, present, and future all in one. You are the beginning. You are is what to come, and you are what is. And that is it's, it's scripture, you know? And that's why the Bible is my favorite law book, and there's, uh, there's no other law book that I know of. Even though I've read some other uh, divinely inspired scriptures, I have not quite seen anything quite like the, the Holy Bible because of the, the, the three levels of understanding to it. It's very, very divinely inspired, like I love it. And some people will be like, oh, well, it was man speaking or man moving or man doing. Yeah, but the creators were flowing through them. When, you, when you're able to embody what it is to have uh, working one with the creators or the angels, it's, it's, it's amazing what can happen, like, uh, almost anything like the natural realm is just garbage it's like a temporary little burp um all right veronica i feel the same way it's too much sometimes it can be it can be very uh overwhelming we are the x-men <laughs> yeah we we do yeah we got su we have superpowers you know and that's and that's why it's kind of depressing that 
Uh, everybody is walking around sad. They're depressed. And part of that is because they worship mammon, right? So when you worship mammon and you're bound by mammon and that's, and that's your God and your king and your love, and you and you don't even realize that you're you're operating a franchise U.S. citizen that is owned by a corporation that's registered in the state and is basically um, controlled by D.C. and it's all for profit and you're all set up to to get fleeced. You know, you get fleeced 33, 36 percent of everything that you you work away for all day, and. You're, you're, you're taxed on how you do business, and, and we're not taught this stuff by the people that control all the corporations. I think, I think Veronica, you just said you figured out, you know, how BlackRock, Vanguard, and, and Black Street, like, they control everything. They are the biggest businesses. They are what is classified in the Bible as beasts of the field. Like, they are monsters on this earth as far as, like, their control and power. They're pretty big. Almost Leviathan-like. As far as like death, like goodness gracious. Um, all right, I, I try telling people they won't even try it, and that's Veronica. That's why I, I was talking about trying to very, very simply and easily talk to people one on one because a lot of people can't handle stuff. They just can't, you know. They've been indoctrinated, and if you and if you look in the scriptures, it explains everything. It's so amazing. It talks about people who are indoctrinated. Uh, from the Old Testament, people that indoctrinated the, indoctrinated the New Testament, and the New Testament people that are indoctrinated are called herbs bearing seed because they're not bearing fruit; they're just they're just spitting seeds out, and that's that's all they are. And it even calls them uh, old old wine sacks that can't receive new wine. Now, new wine is the spiritual stuff that I'm speaking about, the stuff that I'm promoting on my videos, the stuff that I'm trying to enlighten and educate and uh, help the conscious body become more awake. And I'm glad that the time is now that I'm finally able to release this stuff into the public because I've had, I've carried this knowledge and others do too. Now, when you start being led by the Spirit, you operate in such a way where you the, the angels basically kind of dictate and control to an extent you know kind of kind of lightly guide and that, that's what I do like everything and a lot of these people that have the knowledge aren't uh, led to release it because people can't handle it and people will just like mock you they'll, they'll try to make money off of it um, I've got people trying to make money off of the stuff that I teach like you know they're trying to make profit, and it's and it's is what it is. But that's the way of the world, and that's why you're supposed to be in it and not of it, in the body and not of it, in the world not of it, on the earth not not of it. Uh, Healing goddess, thank you so much for the rose, much appreciated. Um, v Veronica, some people don't want to be awakened. No, it and it hurts, and that's why I suggest everybody to watch Plato's allegory or look it up. Okay. Because it hurts their eyes. The, the Plato's allegory basically says that everybody's like asleep inside of a cave and they're seeing shadows on a wall from fire. And they're seeing shadows of like animals and people and cars. And to them, that is their whole reality. But when you look outside of the cave, there is a whole nother real world that is actually the truth and the light. And uh, when, when the guy that got free comes out and sees the light, you know, it hurts his eyes. He starts trying to become awake to everything. It's like amazing, this whole new world. And then he comes and tries to teach people about the truth and the knowledge and the life and the light that is outside of the cave, the real world. And they, they want to fight him and kill him and they want to stay in shackles and be blind. And that, that Plato's allegory is, is um, it's a really beautiful uh, allegory. This stuff has been going on forever. Yeah, since the beginning like people e even in the bible from the very beginning like people want to be bound by the law they don't want to live in equity and truth and love they want to be selfish they don't want to to be helpful you know they want to do the absolute minimum and be lazy and you know that's just it's just natural you know um we are basically bags of water that have electrical signals in them and Typically, water and electricity find the path of least resistance, and that is what we are, and that's why it's hard to go against the flow, against the grain, against the river, against against the natural. Um, the natural body wants to do as little as possible, to eat as much, like, you know, what do you, what do you got? You got food, sex, sleep, 
breathing like and that's and that's what all the natural body wants you know and it's hard to go against that but once you start coming from the spiritual angle and the spiritual perspective and you start to realize that our te- our temporary body is a sacrificial animal that we are supposed to give up for others and you start getting rewarded um i i don't re- require oh I- i've gotten rewards plenty from doing what i do but i don't require it to do what i do you know because it's that's what love is when you love someone and you love people it doesn't you know you're not in it for the rewards but it is very rewarding helping everybody it's very rewarding waking up one or two people i have reached millions of people with tiktok i love it um i wish i wish the spiritual stuff would would get out and it, they won't even let me promote it like if i wanted to put a uh, hundred dollars down so that one of my spiritual videos would 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 go out to three thousand people they'll, they'll stop it they'll be like nope you can't promote spiritual stuff or you can't pr- promote religious stuff and it's like golly man then why did this other religious video get 30 million views you know it's like they're talking you know it's just yeah is what it is i'm i sometimes i can complain whatever silicono hmm Elon Goddess, I remember you saying that on the Telegram group. Uh, Veronica, I activate sleeping souls who are meant to be awakened. That's beautiful. That's good. That's a good line of work. Um, Metatron Star Wars. What in the world? Uh, that's that's actually a um, uh, interesting parable with uh, what's going on with the... Uh, people who are stars in the spiritual realm. Now, there's there's commercial stars, there's spiritual stars, and there's natural stars, you know? And all of them are different reflections and different frequencies and lights and, and vibrations of each other, and they're all intertwined, man. It's just all... It's all groovy, dude. It's just all cool. Um, I was just messing around, so... Uh, Veronica, my mission. Should I choose to accept it? Uh, my mission, I activate sleeping souls who are... Men- oh, yeah, yeah, you did say that already. Uh, Sean pace all of nature that lives is water and electricity too um no not there's light there, there's light and frequency of the natural realm now this is another thing you know uh commerce water is what gives life too now remember the creators say don't worship mammon now water uh almost nothing can live without water but there is a spiritual water right um, you're not supposed to worship the natural water, but that's why that's why uh, Jesus said um, you're you're drinking water. He meets the lady at the well, and she and he says, "I, I give water um, that will it's the water that you're drinking. What you will make you thirsty again, but the water that I give will flow forever." And he's talking about the spiritual water, and you know again that's why they say not to worship um, the natural stuff. Don't say your phone. All is one. Yes. Dad Pippa, Dad, Daddy, Daddy Pippa, Dad, Dad Dippa. Yeah, all is one, one is all. We're all connected through the natural light. We're all connected through the spiritual light. And we're all connected through commerce. And we're all in love with fire in the middle of everything. And we're all, all one body of unity. And, you know, and that's, that's when you start becoming awake, you can easily, and I love that movie, um, uh, is it they live where the, the guy puts the glasses on and he looks around and he sees where it's like consume buy eat he can start to see everything for how it really is when you start to become awake you can you can look at all these uh commercial um promotions out there all of the uh people that are trying to promote different unhealthy products and stuff like that they don't care about your health they got people smiling smoking crack pipes if they could sell them if they could sell crack they would freaking uh actually i heard the cia did create that stuff anyway but um you know you look on magazines and they and they make girls feel like they have to be prostitutes in order to be attractive and uh be happy and it's like buy this new car buy these new shoes buy this buy that buy that you know and you'll be happy and it's like no it's just it's all a it's all a trick they don't it's not rigged for you to be better well it's it's rigged it's rigged for division so once you become awake you can start to see that everything that is promoted and taught out there in the commercial realm publicly is typically aimed towards dividing everybody instead of creating unity and that's why you need to use your commerce wisely for for unity uh peace to the gods and earths yes metatron 
Veronica, we are just pieces of a puzzle. Yep. We're all fractals of the same body, uh, the same one unity. Uh, DWG, keep up the great work. I'm trying. Like I said, this live will be on YouTube if y'all want to see some of the stuff that I've talked about earlier. And the audio will be on my Telegram. So feel free to go back and listen to it anytime you want. Um, the V, the programming. Yes, we are programmed through channels, uh, especially on like TV and ads and like everywhere you go and now there's the biggest push is to create digital twins through ai of all of our activities so that they can sell us more commerce like like everything that you say is picked up by the microphones on your on your phone it's picked up by cameras everywhere and the, and it's just like it's becoming a crazy dystopian locked in digital prison where every you know every for profit that i know of is in the market for creating faster more and more commerce and, and, and making more money and more business you know because that's how you grow you know you either as banks every, everything i look at everything as batteries everything is as, as banks and you're either like spending energy getting energy or or you're losing it it's typically very hard to stay in a very neutral state um veronica thank you for the fire much appreciated a whole bunch of them uh the uh, metatron desire directs the mind body and soul uh yes yep um so that's uh that's like a different level of understanding because typically like i said commerce the commercial body binds everybody and incentivizes them and that was kind of the one of the worst things when i started becoming awakened to how the commercial realm works is i would see people that are hurt and injured and they'd still have to get up and go to work because they don't know how to tap into the private asset side of their estate they you know and so they're out there working a nine to five getting taxed 36 percent 33 percent of everything they make for a for-profit company and they're out there hurt limping you know trying to make a living just to keep the lights on and it's just you know it sucks but on the other side of the coin it also you know i actually enjoy that i can call up amazon and order something like and have it to my door you know i i, I enjoy but I, like i said i wish everything was not profit everything i wish it was not profit but it's just not how it works um sean pace worship is a warship i be live i believe yeah, so all the all the words, especially English, is very. Um, what's the word that I'm looking for? It starts with an S, but um, so it's not synonymous. But it's very. Uh, ah, anyway, it's, it has a lot of spells and programming from the frequency, and all of this comes back to the Tower of Babel when we all had one language and we all had one uh, thought consciousness and. The creators actually uh, created the confusion and, and split up all of our tongues and all of our, um, our, our ways so that uh, because we as in one unity, we're actually creating and growing in the wrong direction, trying to reach the creator in, in, a, in, a, in the wrong way. So that's why the confusion. But once you get into a spiritual level and another frequency, you can start to understand that all of our languages are still connected and linked through frequencies and it's always been there so it kind of got it got flipped where um naturally uh even though that our languages got confused naturally spiritually it's still all connected and intertwined and still can be understood and that's why people that speak in tongues in church there's people that speak in tongues there's people that can understand it um the same thing with uh, all different religions and all different cultures they they have different languages but can be understood and felt on different levels same thing with animals animals can sense um all kinds of like energy from people because they're operating in a very natural realm through through spiritual consciousness and stuff um gratitude is prayer okay coded what are you what are you talking about ron i guess kind of crazy well, guys, I'm at the bottom. I see no more questions. Anybody got any questions? I'm gonna start here, uh, be out here dancing to Key Sweat while y'all are y'all are doing something. Language is coded. Yes, everything's coded. It's all frequency, light, love, and vibration, and all that. And 
once you start to, uh, you're, we're actually able to tune our pineal glands, okay? Uh, inside of our brain is kind of a radio frequency uh, receptor that we're, uh, it's like an antenna, you know, and we can transmit and receive. And through all of our chakras too, they're all like energy centers that can flow with a vortex through channeling power. And um, we're actually able to tune. And I think I said this on one of my other lives. One, one day I had actually, when I was drinking coffee, I tuned my frequency in my uh, pineal gland to be perfectly in sync with with the natural realms frequency um and and it was like it was almost like sensory deprivation of my natural body it was like the coolest thing ever uh and, and i've i've played around it up and down a few times but never quite gotten it like dialed into where you know it's just like hitting like fm 99 like right on the button and just staying there and it was just like it was so cool and peaceful i love it all right guys so you know, this might be a quick, uh, a quick TikTok live unless y'all got some questions. So I appreciate everybody being here and supporting me. Again, all your gifts will be used to help enlighten others um, because you're all in, the, in this with me. So uh, week has been really busy. Daggone, I had to rush here to even get on to this live to try to make it around 2 o'clock because I've just, I've been so busy. And, you know doing what I can to help y'all and I appreciate everybody that's been here and giving support and um, uh, Metatron you can't find a way to sh share the telegram link uh, I think only I could make you I guess I could make you a moderator of that also um, and then you'd be able to do it uh, I think you have to go out outside of that telegram group into the original nature spirit and commerce to share the link uh, yep, that's my, uh, well, that's one way to do it, Veronica. Yeah, you could post my website and go on there, and they can find the Telegram link through my my website. So, guys, this live will be on my YouTube. Uh, all my esoteric, like, secret knowledge is on my website. Veronica just posted my website. Thank you. And all of my social media uh, is linked on my website also if you want to go through there. That's one way to uh, find find the links of everything that I'm on. And I'm glad that I just started getting onto YouTube to help uh, reach reach more people so that, because not everybody is hip to TikTok, not everybody's hip to Telegram, not everybody, you know. So all these different platforms have different um, audiences and different ways of reaching out to people. So I appreciate all the likes, the lives, the loves, the support, um, all the gifters. Um, you know, this is just great. So guys, if like I said, if y'all don't have any, any questions or whatever, you know, I'm going to, I'm gonna wrap up. Um, it's been a it's been a crazy week. I appreciate all you guys, and hope to catch y'all next week. Uh, I actually, I I don't know if I will be out next week. Let me look at the calendar because uh, if I usually go on Fridays, I might I might go live while I'm while I'm like traveling because uh, it gets kind of nuts. So let's see. Um, we're here. Yeah, next. Yeah, I'll be I'll be out. I'm leaving Thursday early thursday so like i said i don't know if I, i'm gonna be be out of it for a little bit thanks for the hearts um metatron thank you v anyone interested in zooming yeah if y'all want to do a zoom sometime we can we can get off this tiktok live and we can do a zoom one-on-one -on -one, face to face everybody we can have like a group um so last we had four people that were interested out of like what what i have like 130 uh active live members on um telegram and you know, most people just want a little information. They're just not invested, and it's fine. It is what it is, you know, and that's why I try to reach as many people as I can but also not push too uh, strongly on let's do it, you know, this, that, and the other because, you know, if, if this is for y'all, all of this stuff is for y'all. I, I voted too. I was one of the five. So if, if there was enough of y'all that wanted to Zoom, like, you know, maybe 10 people or something or, you know, I'd be willing to flex on it some. But anyway, guys. I think I'm going to wrap up. I appreciate you. I love you. Um, check this live on YouTube, uh, audio on Telegram. Everything's linked on my website, on my profile page of TikTok. Appreciate all the gifters I love. Uh, if there's no subjects or anything that y'all want to talk about, I'm probably going to head out because it's almost been an hour. and I'm, I've been talking a lot today because I was getting filmed in my office all day, so my voice is already feeling kind of like over uh, speaking already. So. Guys, all right, I'm going to wrap up. Love you. Appreciate you. Check the live on YouTube. Appreciate you all. Thanks for my moderators, all the gifts and everybody. 
keep it live and we'll keep it moving. I'll see y'all, if not next week, the week after that. So catch y'all later, guys. Bye.